This is from A to Vegan. I'm Lydia. I'm here with Harold Brown, the founder of FarmKind. Now, can you can you just define what stock-free uh, farming is to mm -hmm. our viewers? Well, stock-free is, uh, some people call it veganic farming. In other words, there are no animal inputs. Everything is done through green manure or composting, and it also pays much more attention to what they call the soil profile, what's going on down deeper in the soil as far as mycelium growth and so on. It's, it's a more holistic view of organics, but it doesn't use the things that are acceptable inputs in standard organics, which are like bone meal, blood meal, um, fish meal. 50% uh, of everything that's taken out of the ocean is used either for fertilizer or feed for farm animals. Hmm. We're collapsing the ocean's populations because of farming. So it's uh, a way of doing all of this without taking anything out of the ocean, taking any beings out of the ocean, or taking any um, these byproducts that are, are acceptable amendments under both, not just only the USDA, but also third party regional um, uh, organic associations and the, our, we've proven now there's a book called Growing Green by Ian Tolhurst and Jenny Hall which is the authoritative book on this and they have done this for many many years and there's a lot of research put into this book but they have shown that you can be more productive than any other form of sustainable farming with stock free organic techniques. Okay. So it is truly true organic farming. Truly without any animal inputs. The big problem with standard organics is all these things that we're using, manure and so on, uh, where you get that manure from, those animals are usually getting pharmaceuticals, um, prions, mag cow disease, that's in the manure. Um, the Verdell Institute has shown that um, plants are able to take those things up. So when we're eating organic vegetables, we're thinking, well, these are good and clean. Not necessarily. They could be loaded with pharmaceuticals from the manure of what they've been using on the crops. Right, the manure and the the, the fish meal and the blood meal yeah. <clears throat> and the other animal yeah, inputs. Yeah, heavy metal toxicity, hmm. it all goes up in the plants. Yeah, see, you, you, you think you're buying organics and you're doing something something good and, and you actually don't know what's being put into the soil. Yeah, we can definitely do better. Mm, absolutely. Thank you so much, Harold. You're it welcome. was a pleasure talking to you. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more recipes and cooking videos, please visit from a to vegan.com.